Hello, my name is Teddy Wafula and today we are going to cover the basics of Python. We are going to look at the syntax of Python, uh, commenting your code in Python, and we are also going to look at variables uh, in Python. Variables are simply memory locations used to store data. Syntax is the rules followed when writing uh, your code. It can be variables, it can be comments. So we are going to look at all that today. So before we get started, kindly subscribe to my channel, a like, comment, and share with your friends. So we are, there are a few rules that we are going to look at. First, ensure that Python is installed on your machine. So to confirm that uh, from my end, you can go to the terminal and type Python. You will see the version of Python that is installed on your machine. So that's the first thing you need to do. Second thing you need to do is to ensure that you have your favorite text editor in place or an IDE. An ID is an integrated development environment. For my case, I'm using PyCharm. So uh, you can also use uh, uh, Notepad. You can use NetBeans and other text editors. But I prefer PyCharm because it comes installed with other extensions and easy and it's easy to use it has autocomplete features so uh let's get started so i'm going to look at how to create a new project so in pycharm so you are going to click on create new project so you enter a project name where it's highlighted here it can be test a pi or something and then you choose your interpreter which is python 3.7 then you click on create so when you click on create you'll find a folder that looks like this without the app.py file so I just delete this if I delete this there we have it our folder will come like this so for us to get started we have to create a file uh, we are going to name it app.file so we are going to click on file app.py there we have our file so we are going to start now with the syntax uh, of Python. So there are two things involved. The first one we have comments in Python, then also we have variables in Python. So the syntax of comments is either hash, use hash uh, to comment your code. This will not be printed anywhere, it's just to direct you. So you can say getting started with Python. So this is how comments uh, are made. You can also have a multi-line or a multi-line uh, string. So those ones uh, we use doc string, uh, doc string for single quotes, or we can use doc string with double quotes. So uh, this one there are normally three quotes. So here you enter your long. Uh, long comments getting started put something long also this one getting started can enter something long if you try and run this code you'll see that they are not printed so they just guide you uh, throughout your code that they enable you to debug your code someone else if someone else looks at your code is able to uh, know what you're doing at a certain uh, function or at a certain class. So there's our uh, uh, comments uh, defined in Python. And then uh, we're also going to look at variables in Python, the rules that uh, variables respect. First, uh, let me just put a comment here. First, uh, we're going to look at uh, variables. rules so the first rule will be uh, a variable should be alphanumeric or with an underscore alphanumeric with underscore those are valid uh, variables an underscore simply means it's an underscore and then our alphanumeric is either a to z capital or a to z small letter or uh, 0 to 9 so these are alphabetic 
and then this one is a numeric uh, value so that's what we have here so let me just put multi-line comments here or doc string parameter or doc strings So we have that. So we have to respect all this, uh, all this uh, two, uh, two types, alphanumeric and underscore. So also we have to ensure that uh, our variable, a variable starts with, a variable starts with alphabetical or underscore these are the rules that we need to look at so we have alphanumeric for a valid a variable and then for a variable to begin with it has to have alphabetic or underscore so I'm just going to show you simple examples so like a equals to 9 that's a valid variable capital A equals to Eight, there's a valid variable. Underscore equals to nine, there's a valid variable. Mm. Underscore a equals to four, there's a valid variable. So uh, an invalid variable could be that with a number nine, then you say equals to l or, or equals to eight. That's invalid. Of course, you see that there's a syntax error. If you try and try this function, I see that there's a syntax error 9 equals to 8 so that's invalid and if you try to say even uh, 8 underscore jkl equals to 5 that and then we remove this 9 equals to 8 and try run this function you'll see that you also have an invalid uh, a token so uh, this one shows that the variable is invalid so basically those are the three are uh, two uh, the three are rules test of alphanumeric and underscore and the variable should start with uh, an alphabetic or an underscore so basically that's it with uh, the basics of uh, python so if you have any question can you let me know but uh, we're going to now try and print now these variables or output these variables. We use uh, the function, inbuilt function called print. So if you print A, it's going to give us 9. If we print A, the capital letter, it's going to give us an 8. Here our 8 is. If you're going to print underscore a we're going to get that we're going to print underscore it's going to give us nine so here's our nine so basically uh, that's how uh, we define variables that's how we do our comments uh, we have a doc string or multi-line string uh, comments they can be single quotes three of them or double quotes the three of them and then you can also have a, a single line comment like hash as getting started with python so uh, if you like this tutorial kindly uh, a comment subscribe like and share with friends uh, thank you thank you for listening uh, see you see you in the next tutorial